Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Piper reports growth in deliveries and revenue for quarter three, 2017. FAA approves winglet technology transitional winglets on the Citation Sovereign. AEA's Pilot's Guide to Avionics available at MBAA Convention. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's October 10th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Piper Incorporated has announced some good news with its aircraft sales and deliveries for the third quarter of 2017. Aircraft sales continue to grow in both the trainer class and M-class product lines with the flagship M600 and the single-engine Archer TX trainer leading the sales expansion for the company. The company delivered 42 aircraft in quarter three, worth $48.6 million. The 2017 year-to-date revenue performance also grew over the same period in 2016 with a nearly 45 million or 57% increase. Additionally, Piper product deliveries have grown by 19 units when compared to the same period in 2016, which represents a 24% increase. Piper Archer deliveries continue to expand with 55% more units delivered versus 2016. In quarter three, our continued investments across all our products, as well as our commitment to a made-to-order business model, has helped drive another quarter of strong growth in sales expansion, and has also resulted in the lowest dealer inventory levels that we have seen in five years, said President and CEO Simon Caldicott. Winglet Technology has received an STC for the installation of their transitional winglet design on the Cessna Citation Sovereign. The STC was initially issued on June 20, 2017, and subsequently amended on August 31st to include the entire Citation Sovereign fleet. The Sovereign upgrade provides higher maximum cruise speeds at high altitudes, greater range for a given payload throughout the operating envelope, and higher weight altitude temperature limits. The transitional winglet upgrade will increase the Sovereign's wingspan from 63 foot 4 to 69 foot 6. Flight testing has confirmed a 35 knots true airspeed speed increase at flight level 450 and direct climb to flight level 450 at the higher maximum takeoff weight. It also increases the Sovereign's range by 340 nautical miles range for payloads over 1,780 pounds. Extensive back-to-back -back flight testing confirmed anticipated performance benefits, said Bob Kaiser, president and managing member of Winglet Technology LLC. Their transitional winglet design provides outstanding high-altitude performance to complement the Sovereign's best-in-class short-field performance. Work is underway to increase the Sovereign's maximum takeoff weight from 30,300 pounds to 30,475 pounds by the end of the year. After the break, AEA's Pilot's Guide to Avionics, available at MBAA Convention. Meet Sam, the new 2-inch standby attitude module from Mid-Continent Instruments and Avionics. Sam offers selectable horizontal and vertical orientation like no other, guaranteeing the perfect fit within any panel. Learn more at FlySam.com. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. The Aircraft Electronics Association's 2017-18 edition of the Pilot's Guide to Avionics will be available at NBAA Base this week. AEA staff members will distribute the guide at the AEA booth number C6914. This year marks the 15th annual edition of the Pilot's Guide to Avionics, a consumer's directory loaded with educational articles, timely information, and data about the wonderful world of avionics technologies. 
The publication helps pilots and aircraft owners make better buying decisions and locate nearly 1,300 AEA member companies in more than 40 countries, including government-certified repair stations specializing in maintenance, repair, and installation of avionics and electronic systems in general aviation aircraft. It also includes the manufacturers and distributors of these products, as well as technical schools and universities, engineers and consultants for the industry. With the Federal Aviation Administration's mandate for aircraft flying in controlled airspace to equip with ADSB out avionics by January 1, 2020, this publication covers the topic in depth and provides answers to frequently asked questions. Individuals residing in the United States also may request a free copy of the AEA's Pilot's Guide to Avionics online. Every Tuesday, we're going to look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here's this week's Aero Calendar. October 10th through 12th is the NBAA Business Aviation Convention and Exposition in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today, NBAA starts its annual convention and trade show, and the ANN crew are already at work. Join 27,000 industry professionals for the three most important days of business aviation in the year. Ranked as the sixth largest trade show in the United States, NBAA Base starts today, October 10th through October 12th, bringing together current and prospective aircraft owners, manufacturers, and customers into one meeting place to get critical work accomplished. The annual AEA Central Connect Conference, October 26th through 27th in Kansas City, Missouri, is a two-day event that personally connects GA industry professionals. The AEA Connect Conferences have grown. Attendees are now more engaged than ever in the educational environment, with interactive discussions and analysis. Avionics repair stations, manufacturers, regulators, and educators show an increasing desire to come together, network, and personally conduct a serious business. The 17th annual RC Fall Warbirds Fly-In will be held October 14, 2017 at Charlotte Aero Modelers Field in Monroe, North Carolina. All size aircraft are welcome. Registration fee is $10. Field opens at 8 a.m. Camping allowed but no hookups. A barbecue lunch will be served at 12 p.m. $8 for adults and $5 for children. Excellent facilities, 800-foot runway, and prizes to be raffled. After these messages, Lockheed Martin T-50A reaches 100 flights. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We our Hartzell Propeller. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call around the patch. Lockheed Martin recently achieved a new milestone as a T-50A aircraft flew its 100th sortie at the Greenville, South Carolina facility. This flight continues to demonstrate the company's low-risk, ready-now approach to the advanced pilot training competition. Flight operations began at the Greenville site in November 2016 as a team worked toward a March 2017 proposal deadline and a submission of the required flight test data at the end of June. Europe's next two Galileo navigation satellites have touched down in Europe's spaceport in French Guiana ahead of the launch of a quartet by Ariane 5 at the end of this year. 
Galileo's 1920 left Luxembourg Airport on a Boeing 747 cargo jet on the morning of September 18th, arriving at Cayenne Felix Abu Airport in French Guiana that evening. In a comprehensive aviation security update presented recently to the United Nations Security Council, Secretary General Dr. Fang Liu called on this UN prominent body to promote greater international awareness and implementation in aid of ICAO's new global aviation security plan. Airbus Helicopters has received EASA certification for the Rig and Fly for its H-175 Super Medium Helicopter. Already certified for the H-225, this avionics upgrade enhances the H-175's offshore mission capability, providing fully automatic rig approaches. The automated mode also reinforces flight safety by allowing the crew to focus on the flight parameters in the external environment. Leonardo has reported that the Polar Research Institute of China has purchased an Augusta Westland AW-169 light intermediate helicopter. The aircraft, which is planned to be delivered in early 2019, will be provided with a dedicated configuration to support a Chinese polar scientific exploration task and perform a range of roles including passenger transport, iceberg sighting, and cargo sling operations. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Two years ago, the town of Orchid Park, New York, passed a local ordinance that applied largely to the area around New Era Field, the home of the NFL's Buffalo Bills. The law restricted drones in the vicinity of the stadium six hours before and six hours after any event held at the venue. A later federal regulation put in place in 2016 established TFRs over any stadium where a game was being played within three miles of the stadium from an hour before the game until an hour after the game. The town voted Wednesday night to begin the process of rescinding the local ordinance after it was informed that only the FAA has jurisdiction over navigable airspace. Councilman Michael Sherry said that the council has looked at the applicable laws and found that its local ordinance is redundant. Town attorney John Bailey said that the town isn't rewriting the ordinance to comply with the FAA rules. We're just rescinding an ordinance that appears to be at odds with their regulations, he said. While this ordinance is being stricken from the books, Councilman Sherry said that in his view, the FAA's rules are still too lax. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.